New 3D printing companies are emerging all over the world, from Germany and China to the US and France, each with its own unique approach. But one country seems to stand out among the rest, where innovation thrives and advanced development is at its forefront, a place where some of the largest 3D printing companies call home, Israel. Israel has had a hand in the development of many industry-changing products such as Microsoft Windows, the USB drive, and Intel processors. Bloomberg even ranked Israel number 5 of the most innovative countries in the world, home to over 55 3D printing startups and some of the world's leading 3D printing companies, it's no surprise that Israel is leading the way in the most exciting and revolutionary technology today. So join me as we explore some of the 3D printing companies that have strong ties with Israel and how they are developing new 3D printing technologies that are revolutionizing the way we manufacture products. Israel is known as the world's startup nation and has a lot of high-tech industries in what is called Silicon Wadi, a region which is a pun on the US's Silicon Valley. This region includes Rehavut. Rehavut is a hub for 3D technology and innovation and that's where our journey starts. With a market cap of $800 million, Stratasys is the largest company exclusive to 3D printing. Although the company was originally established in Minnesota by the father of FDM printing, the company really took off when it merged with Israeli-based Objet in 2012. The Israeli side of the company, which now focuses on the resin business, is headquartered in Rehavut and is where all R&D applications are developed for their Polyjet technology. Polyjet is a process in which a 3D object is created by jetting liquid photopolymers layer by layer. Think of it like a hybrid between PLA and resin 3D printing, where a thin layer of resin is deposited and then instantly cured with UV light. This is done layer by layer until the final product is done. Polyjet 3D printers are among the most accurate and precise 3D printing processes and require minimal post-processing, making it ideal for rapid prototyping. Polyjet printing is also unique in that it can use multiple materials, both rigid and flexible in a single print. Now, when printing with multiple materials, Stratasys makes it a lot easier, as it has the most comprehensive portfolio of 3D printing materials with over 150 polyjet photopolymers and FDM thermoplastics. In addition to its flagship printers, Stratasys also offers a suite of CAD programs, most notably GrabCAD, a free-to-use modeling software, and the premium GrabCAD Pro is designed for more industrial applications to support high-performance end-use parts and prototypes. Stratasys has an ever-growing list of high-profile customers and partners that span plenty of industries. Some notable names include Microsoft, NASCAR, PepsiCo, Lockheed Martin, Toyota, and the U.S. Air Force. The next company is XJet. XJet specializes in a new type of metal 3D printing. See, most metal 3D printers either use SLS, which uses a laser to bind metal powder particles together, or binder jetting, which fuses layers of metal powder together by depositing a binding agent on top. XJet improves on the binder jetting with their nanoparticle jetting technology. XJet's printers combine the metal powder with a liquid binder to create nanoparticle inks. This mixture is then deposited layer by layer until the print is finished. This type of metal 3D printing reduces the material needed as the machine only uses what it needs to complete the print. This process also uses ultra-thin layers, which in turn will produce higher quality parts with very little post-processing. Recently, XJet expanded this technology to include ceramic printing, which is becoming extremely popular in the aerospace industry due to its high heat resistance. So keep a lookout for this company as their products may just end up on future rockets and spaceships. Redefining an industry is not easy, but it's in this company's name. Founded in 2018, Redefine Meats specializes in the production of 3D printed vegan meat. Using their meat matrix manufacturing process, the company produces plant-based steaks, burgers, and sausage that replicate the texture, flavor, and experience of eating traditional meat. Whether appetizing or not, the technology is very interesting as their 3D printing process allows them to create exact formations that can duplicate the muscle and fat structures found in cuts of real meat. 3D printing of meat also offers flexibility and allows the printing of different shapes, sizes, and combinations of fat and muscle. 
And the company's moving pretty fast. Since creating the world's first 3D printed plant-based steak in 2018, the company has grown to over 150 employees and has products available at nearly a thousand locations in Israel and Europe. Although this next company spans the globe, with most of its operations in North America and Europe, Nano Dimension developed its roots in Israel, as the company was founded in 2012 in the city of Nes Ziona. As the fifth largest 3D printing company with a market cap of 600 million, Nano Dimension is the leading manufacturer of 3D printed electronics. Circuit boards, wireless chargers, and antennas are able to be 3D printed using their Dragonfly printing technology. And their new Dragonfly 4 printer is able to use multiple materials, including conductive inks, to print an entire circuit board in one step. And because the boards are 3D printed, they can be made into any customized shape with virtually limitless board layouts. With electronics being implemented into everything from sporting wear to eyeglasses, customized circuit boards are essential. While this technology is impressive on its own, Nano Dimension hasn't stopped there. Recently, they hopped on board the AI train, and they have been integrating it with 3D printing. In April of 2021, the company acquired DeepCube, a machine learning based technology with some impressive and patented breakthrough algorithms. Not only will the AI system improve the design and printing process of each machine, but the company wants to turn every one of their 3D printers into nodes, which will be part of an overall main ecosystem. Both interesting and scary, they essentially want the AI to coordinate multiple machines across a lab or across the globe. Seems like an easy way to build an army of robots if you ask me. 3D printing in the medical field is taking off, and Coal Plant is one of the companies at the forefront. Specializing in regenerative medicine, Coal Plant's main focus is on the 3D bioprinting of organs, tissues, and medical aesthetics such as skin fillers and breast implants. Founded in 2005, and headquartered in Rehovot, Israel, the company has grown to offices in the United States, Europe, and Asia. Coal Plant's technology is based on the use of plant-based recombinant human type 1 collagen, which is then used to create bioinks. The bioinks are then used to create 3D structures that can be used to repair or replace damaged tissues. The company claims that the plant-based collagen is more efficient and cleaner than animal or cadaver-based collagen. And since the plant-based version is not highly processed, it has significant advantages, including improved biofunctionality and reduced risk of immune response. In recent news, the company has designed breast implants that encourage the body to regenerate the breast tissue of cancer survivors. Moving away from the material and product side, Caster is a 3D printing software company that specializes in intelligent 3D printing software for manufacturing. Since a number of companies have already integrated AI into their software, it seems this company will have a lot of strict competition. The company mainly focuses on improving the manufacturing process via simulations and data analysis during the design stage. Some of their software features include carbon emission analysis to improve the sustainability of 3D printing and a seamless multi-printer manufacturing environment which essentially allows printers from different manufacturers to print different parts of a project in one step. One of the few tech companies not located in Rehovot, this company is not revolutionizing anything and is really just using 3D printing to add pizzazz to an everyday product. Pioneering the term BevTop Media, Ripples sells a machine that allows a customer to print any design on a foamy drink such as coffee, beer, and some desserts. The Ripple Maker 2 offers single color printing, and the upgraded Ripple Maker 2 Pro comes with a dual cartridge offering multiple colors. Both machines have automatic sensors to recognize cup size and placement, and prints perfect designs in 10 seconds. The 3D printing industry is booming, and Israel is at the forefront. From medical devices to consumer goods, the future of 3D printing is bright, and Israel seems to be poised to play a major role in its development. Thanks for watching.